Begin in an easy seated position. Allow your palms to face up towards the sky. Tilt the pelvis forward slightly so the spine is long. Allow the shoulders to relax down the back away from the ears and draw the shoulder blades together. Begin to follow your breath in and out through the nose and begin to envision that breath as you inhale moving up through the spine to the crown of the head and as you exhale moving down. Just begin to deepen and lengthen the breath. Allow your mind to still and quieten. Letting go, go of any thoughts, any chitter chatter of the mind. On your next inhale, gently flutter that eyes open, interlace the fingers and turn the palms towards the front of the room. Feel a nice stretch there and when you're ready, on your next inhale, lift those hands towards the sky. Palm face up, relax the shoulders away from the ears, no tension there. Breathe into any sensations in the side waist and feel yourself lifting up and out. On your next exhale, slowly release the hands. We'll take a twist. So bring the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Initiating the twist from the navel. Inhale back through centre and then exhale, take it to the opposite side. So left hand to right knee, right hand behind. Initiating the twist from the navel and just allowing this to be a nice gentle twist. We're just waking up, warming up, so just allow everything to be soft, but a good stretch. Inhale, coming back through centre, bring the left hand down to the left hand side, lift the right arm up and over the crown of the head. Maybe staying on the palm, maybe coming down to the forearm, if that feels good, and just feeling that stretch up and out of the right side body. Inhale to centre, then exhale, take it to the opposite side. You might find that there's more space in one side than the other and that's perfectly normal so just observe the difference and honour the difference in your body with the breath. Inhale coming back to centre and then allow yourself to find Balasana Child's Pose. You can bring your big toes to touch, knees can be either together or apart, whatever feels best. Allow the fingertips to creep towards the front of the mat and allow the forehead to come down towards the mat. Focus on the breath, bringing the breath a little bit deeper into the belly now and focusing on opening up the back space of the body. So on each inhale find a little bit more length and on each exhale sink the sit bones down towards the heels a little bit more. Send the armpits down towards the earth for a good stretch in the shoulders. We'll bring the left hand and arm underneath the right, left temple comes down. Sit bones stay down towards the heels for a nice little thread the needle shoulder stretch in child's pose. Envision space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, come up through centre, replace that left hand back down and then send the forehead back down towards the mat. We'll take it to the opposite side, so right hand and arm comes underneath the left, right temple comes down, breathe into the space between the shoulder blades. Just be aware of your breath, any tension, any tightness that might pop up. Just try and let it go on the exhale. On your next inhale, bring the right hand back to the top of the mat, spider out the fingertips, lift the arms and the palms up off the earth and just bring the stretch into the shoulders a little bit more. Forehead comes back down towards the earth. On your next inhale, round up, bring the knees together, push the earth away with the hands, round the shoulders, tuck the chin. And then inhale, rise up, interlace the fingers behind the back, 
push the palms together and just raise the hands away from the low back wherever feels good just so you get a good stretch across the shoulder blades exhale slowly come down into a tabletop position wrist elbows shoulders are stacked knees and hips are stacked on your next inhale drop the belly gaze up towards the sky on your next exhale round the shoulders tuck the chin push the earth away inhale find length and space exhale and round send the energy down towards the earth breathe into the shoulders inhale lengthen Exhale and round. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, round. Push the earth away a little bit more. Inhale to a flat back. Send the hands a little bit further out in front so you get a nice long stretch through the arms. Slowly bring the chest down. Kind of like an extended puppy pose but slightly different. And then rise up to a high plank position hips in line with the rest of the body, core engaged, gazes forwards about three or four feet in front of you, wrists underneath the shoulders, exhale one inch forwards and chaturanga all the way to the earth, spider the fingers out slightly wider than, mat, than the mat, engage the upper back body muscles, rise up to centre, exhale release, rise up to centre, gaze over the right shoulder, exhale release. Rise up to centre, gaze over the left shoulder, exhale, release, both hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, send the sit bones back for a child's pose variation, breathe into the toes, breathe into the feet, find length in the spine. On your next exhale, round forwards and then send the sit bones up and back. First downward dog of the day, so you can begin to walk the feet out in whatever way feels good. Maybe moving slower than your body wants you to move. Just really tuning in to how the body feels. The hamstrings especially can be tight first thing in the morning, so don't be too hard on yourself. Allow your body to kind of open up in whatever way feels good, natural way. Find some stillness, push the armpits towards the earth and then on your next exhale begin to walk the hands back towards the feet. On your next inhale bend the knees and then slowly rise up to stand. Reach the hands up towards the sky and then exhale through a flat back slowly fold down. Grab for opposite elbows with opposite hands, micro bend in the knee for ragdoll pose. Begin to take a couple of nice deep knee bends and then begin to uh, intend to straighten. Inhale to bend the knees, exhale intending to straighten. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, your own breath. Allow the head, the neck, the chest to hang heavy and then release the hands down towards the earth. Inhale to a flat back, hands either underneath the shoulders or on the shins, whatever feels best. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Inhale, find length, spine is long, gazes forwards. Exhale, unfold. Inhale, find length, long spine. Exhale, unfold, chin to shins. Inhale, slowly walk the hands back towards the top of the mat, coming into high plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga all the way to the earth. Inhale, peel the chest up off the mat, cobra, relax the shoulders, relax the face. Tuck the toes, send the sit bones up and back, downward facing dog. Maybe stepping the feet forward slightly just to clarify the foundation. Pushing the earth away with the hands, plugging the knuckles of the fingers into the earth. On your next exhale, slowly come down into a tabletop. Send the sit bones back towards the heels for child's pose. Once again, following the breath. Letting go of anything that might have popped up during this practice. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. A nice deep exhale out through the mouth. Let something go. On your next inhale, slowly round up so you're sitting back on your heels. Bring your hands to heart centre. And just allow yourself to feel gratitude for your practice today. Namaste.